CIBC e-statements are a great way for you to access your banking activity from anywhere at any time. E-statements are simply electronic versions of your monthly bank statement, which you can use to monitor your banking by using CIBC online banking, the CIBC mobile app, or print for your records anytime you'd like. In this tutorial, we'll guide you with step-by-step -step instructions on how to register for online banking and how to access your e-statements. There are many benefits to using e-statements. E-statements are very convenient. You can view your account activity anytime you like. You can save e-statements to your computer for a permanent and easily accessible record and print what you need when you need it. Using e-statements will result in less clutter, so you'll have less paper to file or shred. You'll be able to view up to seven years of activity on your credit card and bank account. With e-statements, you'll have more detailed transaction information, including the tracing number and merchant name for any bill payments. Let's walk through how to view your e-statements using online banking together. To access your online statements, you'll need to be registered for online banking through CIBC's website. If you don't have an online account, registering is easy. Visit www.cibc.com and click the Register button. Have your bank card ready. You will be prompted to enter your card number and card expiry date. Once you've done that, click Next. You will be asked to select a contact method. You can choose either your cell phone or email. Select the option that is most convenient and accessible to you. Once you hit the Send button, you will receive a one-time verification code. Please check your cell phone or email account based on your preferred contact method for a message from CIBC. You will be sent an email or text message with the security code within moments. Once you receive the message from CIBC, enter the code that you receive and select Next. Create your password and select Next. Try to make this password something that is easy for you to remember, but hard for others to guess. Remember, your password is for your use only, so please keep this safe. We will never ask you for your password. Next, you will see the Electronic Access Agreement, which will allow you to use our online banking. Read the agreement carefully and select the checkbox to acknowledge that you've read it. Then select Register. You're now registered for CIBC Online Banking. You can now sign on at any time to view your account activity using your card number and the password you created. Now that you've signed on, you'll find yourself on the My Accounts page. The next step is to click View e-statements on the sidebar on the left-hand side of the page. Here, you'll be able to see your statements for each month dating back seven years. Select the month for which you'd like to view your statement. Let's take a look at an example statement for January. The top right-hand side shows the month that the statement covers, along with your account number and branch transit number. Below that, you will see your account summary that shows the opening balance at the start of the month, total withdrawals, total deposits, and closing balance at the end of the month. On the right-hand side of your account summary is our contact information, so that you can easily reach us for any questions or if you need to update any personal information. Next, you will see a list of transaction details. This list starts off with the opening balance in your account at the beginning of the month. Underneath, you will see the list of transactions made from your account in that month. For example, you can see on this statement that on January 5th, there was a purchase made at ABC Groceries. The $20 spent will be shown in the Withdrawals column and the amount remaining in your account will be shown in the Balance column. Similarly, in the next line, on January 8th, a paycheck is deposited into the account for $1,000. This amount will be reflected in the Deposits column and your new account balance will be shown in the Balance column on the right-hand side. You'll also be able to see any service charge amounts, such as monthly banking fees, charged to your account in the Withdrawals column. 
The very last line in your transaction details list will show the closing balance, which is the amount that remains in your account at the end of the month. If you ever want to print out a physical copy of your e-statement, you can easily print copies of your monthly statement by clicking the little printer icon at the top of your statement. You can also save copies of your statement to your computer files by clicking File, then Save As, and choose the location on your computer to save the file. On your eStatements page, you'll also have the option to Edit Preferences, including choosing your alert preferences. Alerts are notifications that CIBC sends you to keep you informed of your transactions. They are sent automatically to the My Messages section of your online account, but you can choose to get them by email, text message, or to your cell phone as well. You can click Manage My Alerts on the left-hand panel to set preferences for various alerts to keep your finances safe and provide you information about transactions and reminders. For example, you can choose to receive an email, text message, or notification on your cell phone if there is unusual activity on your card, if a bill payee has been added to your account, or if your personal information has been updated on your profile. These alerts can help you keep informed of your transactions and monitor your CIBC accounts. For more information about eStatements, or if you'd like to know more about other record-keeping options, please contact us at one 800 465 2422 or visit a CIBC banking center where we would be happy to assist you.